in the Hero I League in their debut season. Well, Sudeva have inherited the curse of three defeats in a row in the last three games of Phase 1 with hat-trick of wins in Phase 2 and also given us some thriller. An equally good like Kasaga is Alfred Jarian, a tame right footer and no troubles for Rakshit Dagger whatsoever, a routine save. And that was Alfred Jarian's take, had no power and direction whatsoever. Alfred Jarian is a loose ball, a slightly heavy touch capitalized by Keen Lewis. Here is Karpan from distance off target. A first fair warning from the team from Delhi. You cannot afford to give this man even a inches of space. He's capable from scoring from that sort of... A few of them surely will be up for grabs. A floater inside the box falls for Alfred Jarian. A two white shirts surrounding him. A lovely give and go. Alfred Zorian brushes off the challenge through the byline. Can't put the ball in. And that has gone out for a corner kick. So first corner of the game for the People's Club. Uh, they have been pretty threatening uh, from the corner kicks this season. Iswal FC. Uh, they have managed to score six goals from again played shot. Again floated in. He is free. And somehow Rakshit Dagger uh, managing to keep that out of danger. Uh, the centre half Dinpuya uh, was the man with that attempted flick on, uh, trying to give direction to the. He is up against Zwidika. Here's the reverse pass for Keen Lewis. Shubhapal in the middle. Here comes the shot. Just too wide. Shaibal Lang Karpan uh, was the man uh, with that toke poke. but couldn't direct it goalwards. The first real chance of the game. Malsam Tulunga's take. No real power on that. Aizwal FC. Yeah, Malsam Tulunga has scored three goals. Another man in their lineup is Lalrim Sangha for nine. Too strong. He has cheap giveaway in a dangerous area. Now Shaibar. Looking to create that room to shoot. Now Rem sets up Shubo inside the box. It has gone over the bar. Another good piece of build-up from Sudeva Delhi Football Club. Just to within three touches and Sudeva Delhi almost went ahead. Curtis Fleming trusted mostly on Riva Homipam and Bikash Shumnam. Here is a juicy ball. Alfred Jarian's attempt. A wayward attempt. Here's the Liberian, his sixth season with the People's Club and that was the shot. A couple of attempts already for the Black Panthers. Here is Williams now, past Jarian with his right foot. Tiny ball dinked inside, now in Mahesh, back in from Mahesh. But good collection from Muan Sangha, bring it under his control and that was a teasing delivery. Getting the right curl on that. And now Rem Mahesh. Fanai. Now Brandon. Lovely give and go. And now Kima. He was almost through. And there was no cover behind. It's going to be a booking. Another free kick for Aizual FC. Uh, from the edge of the area. And it's a sent off for Sairuat Kima. And that was a a no-look pass from Fanai clipped his shins. Sirewood Kima. This time, Brandon takes it way off target. Uh, the free kicks in this very particular game from Iowa FC haven't found the mark so far. You can also watch all the Hero I League matches live and exclusive only on One Sports Network. The live streaming of the games are also available. On the fish Tulunga, Brandon from the middle of the park over the top, and the flag has gone up. Haven't gone much game time this season. Uh, just trying to test his bench strength. His brand, Kim Kima, beg your pardon. Now, Brandon chasing it. Brandon, it's a tight angle, takes it onto his left foot, Brandon. And Rakshi Dagar uh, did well to grab the ball. Uh, Fanai was in a better position. 
He was come into a tight space in midfield. A wayward pass in a dangerous area. Kane Lewis. Here's a shot. A stunning strike from Kane Lewis. An absolute stunner from the former Bengaluru FC man. He has lit up Kalyani with this strike. Uh, Kane Lewis and Sudeva Delhi Football Club breaks the deadlock minutes before half time. That was a screamer from Kane Lewis. And that was the goal. Taking it into his left foot, takes a look at goal. And boom! Just went past the goalkeeper Muan Sanga, who made his full body stretch from Keen Lewis. So they were Delhi down to 10 men in the first half, uh, but did remarkably well holding up play. It's Manveer, incisive passing. Williams with a shot into the side netting. Oh, what a build up that was from Sudeva Delhi. And Manveer Singh just setting this one up for the young left full back. Uh, there was a rising right footer hitting the side netting. Takes help from Zuidika. Here comes the floater. He went for that acrobatic shot. Fanai missing it completely. Here is Muanzova from the left this time. Oh, that was that high boot straight into his face have been red carded and their manager Chincho Dorji will be hoping that uh, Lalian Sangha is all right. Today, Delhi have played three draws this season. Yes, Lalman Zawa past Manveer, in comes the shot. Another chance goes begging for People's Club. A roaming Thangabolte this time who came off in the second half. Missing the target completely. Uh, from a point blank range. He was unmarked. Uh, should have kept that. Gets enough height on this one. And uh, roaming Thangabolte's header. Uh, before that, referee has blown the whistle uh, for a foul. Even though uh, that had been on target, uh, wouldn't have troubled much. Lalian Sangha goes for it uh, straight into the hands of Muanzova. Fit for Brandon. He's in space with time. In comes the corner. Headed out by Mohit Mittal. Back in from Brandon. Here's a turn from Fanai. Brandon shot straight into the grasp of Rakshi Dagger. Who makes his ground on time, Rakshi Dagger. He anticipated the shot pretty well. Rakshit. Wah. Cuts inside. Goes for goal. And that's not going to trouble Rakshit Dagger all day long. In the middle of the park. Neat turn. Still Brandon. Delightful ball for Fanai. He completely missed that one. Another glorious chance. Goes begging for Aizwal FC. Putting it on a plate, Brandon, for Fanai. Just couldn't connect on the end of it. Wins that shoulder challenge. Ball comes in, Brandon, on the rebound. Chance for roaming to the ball, they're taking his time. And eventually cleared by Del Sudeva Delhi. Appeals of handball not given. It's all happening here at the Kalyani Municipal Stadium. And that was the pass. From Tulunga, Brandon's shot saved by Duggar. Could have gone for the first time to be uh, the decisive one, in fact, if this lands into the back of the net. Kane Lewis with the take. Couldn't get the right curl. Tulunga over the top then. Timely run by Muanzawa with the turn of pace. Beats Manvir for speed, and that's the equalizer for Rizwal FC. Questions were asked, doubts were created, but answers have been provided. It's the substitution, substitute man, Roaming Thakabolte, a restored parity for Rizal FC.
in the dying minutes of the match. It's all square here. Kaliali Municipal Stadium. A thumbs up from Yan Law to his boys. A nicely cultivated that goal. The time and again Lal Zova was causing a lot of problem for the right full back of Sudeva. And finally the persistence have paid. Just beating Manveer for pace and a pinpoint ball dropped inside the box by Muan Zawa. And Ro Ming Tengabolte makes no mistake to till the 90th minute. Chipped inside the box, Brandon nodded towards Fanai, does well to keep it in his control. Nice slide, Ro Ming Tengabolte brought down, is that a penalty? And referee gives it. And there it is. And that was the trip from Mohit Mittal. Here goes Brandon and he nets it. Rifles it beyond the keeper into the bottom corner. And Naizwal FC have found the winner in the added times. And that will break hearts for Sudeva Delhi. Brandon netting his third one in the Hero I League. And Aizual FC takes the lead in the stoppage time. No chance for Rakshit Daga. It was inching a dramatic victory over Sudeva Delhi in their final game of the Hero I League campaign this season. Uh, this win, scoreline confirmation, Aizual FC 2, Sudeva 1.